Draw the transformation of each graph. In part A, we'll draw the graph of y equals negative f of x minus 2. This transformation is telling us to 1. Reflect the graph about the x-axis and 2. Translate the graph vertically two units down. Reflections must be applied before translations. Begin by applying the reflection about the x-axis. Multiply all of the y values by negative 1. Next, apply the vertical translation. Subtract 2 from all the y values. Finally, draw the graph. In part b, we'll draw the graph of y equals f of negative 1 over 4x plus 1. This transformation is telling us to 1. Stretch the graph horizontally by a factor of 4, 2. Reflect the graph about the y-axis, and 3. Translate the graph vertically one unit up. Stretches and reflections must be applied before translations. Begin by stretching the graph horizontally about the y-axis. Multiply all of the x values by 4. Now reflect the graph about the y-axis. Multiply all of the x values by negative 1. Next, apply the upwards vertical translation. Add 1 to all the y values. Finally, draw the graph. In part c, we'll draw the graph of y equals negative 1 over 4 times f of 2x minus 1. This transformation is telling us to 1. Vertically stretch the graph by a factor of 1 over 4. 2. Horizontally stretch the graph by a factor of 1 over 2. 3. Reflect the graph about the x-axis. And 4. Vertically translate the graph one unit down. Stretches and reflections must be applied in either order before translations. Begin by stretching the graph vertically about the x-axis. Multiply all of the y values by 1 over 4. Next, stretch the graph horizontally about the y-axis. Multiply all of the x values by 1 half. Now reflect the graph about the x-axis. Multiply all of the y values by negative 1. Now apply the downward vertical translation. Subtract 1 from all of the y values. Finally, draw the graph. In part d, we'll draw the graph of 2y minus 8 equals 6 times f of x minus 2. We need to isolate y in the transformation. Bring minus 8 to the right side of the transformation. Divide both sides by 2. This gives us y equals 3 times f of x minus 2 plus 4. This transformation is telling us to 1. Vertically stretch the graph by a scale factor of 3. 2. Transit the graph vertically 4 units up. And 3. Transit the graph 2 units right. Stretches must be done first, followed by the translations in either order. Begin with the vertical stretch about the x-axis. Multiply all of the y values by 3. Now apply the upwards vertical translation. Add 4 to all of the y values.
Next, apply the rightwards horizontal translation. Add 2 to all of the x values. Finally, draw the graph.